Today's video here guys, I'm going to be doing a video here on my Nexus 7. This is the 2013 model or you might call it flow name, uh, code name Flow, F-L-O. Um, let me just show it to you really quick. See right here we got Android 4.4.2, Nexus 7, build number, all that goodies. This is what I'm running right now. This is totally stock right here except for the fact that you're going to have some prerequisites to do what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to install OmniROM which I've not done any reviews on at all, so I'm a little excited about this. I've not even played with it, so this will be my first uh, experience with this ROM. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, but you're going to need to have an unlocked bootloader on the device. Obviously, that's going to be a prerequisite. Um, custom recovery of some, side, I, some kind, I have Torp recovery. So, uh, Super Su would be recommended, um, just because it's going to make uh, things a little bit easier to do. So here you can see I have Super User or Super Su. Um, and then you're going to download a couple files. And I'll give you guys links to this in the video description. Like always, I'll give you a link to XDA on this ROM. So, download these directly to your device. It just makes it easier. So, find that XDA link, pull it up on here, and then download the OmniROM nightly you want. PA Gaps stock, right there. I also downloaded the Super Su, but I don't think you need it. I think you have root access in OmniROM. I would, I would imagine, I would expect so anyway. So download those, know where they're at. I have mine in downloads on my SD card. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the uh, newest version of Twerp Recovery. So for me, the easiest way to do this, besides you know flashing it with you know fast boot flash recovery and the recovery image, um, is just to use Goo Manager. It just makes it really simple. You can come in here and go to settings if my screen will function. There we go. Um, install open recovery script. You obviously have to grant this thing super user rights. It says yes, do you want to do this? It says right here open recovery twerp the number flow image. That's what you want and you'd hit yes and it would install it. So normally what it does is it does a little quick download. So you can see this opens up Goo Manager. Actually their web page believe it or not which even though it's in the app it's kind of cool it does that. Um, counts down and it will download the new image which should be quick, pretty quick because it's not a very big file. And as soon as it's done downloading, there you go, installs, boom, 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 recovery has been installed, and you're good. So from here, since we have the files we need, I'm just gonna go reboot to recovery, yes. This just makes it easier to get, just to get right into recovery, very simple um, setup to do it this way. So we're gonna boot up here, you can see it's got the unlock, that means you have an unlocked bootloader on your Nexus 7. And we're going to boot up into Torp Recovery. Here we go, Team Win. And there it is. So first thing I recommend doing before installing this, obviously, is go in here and create an Android backup by swiping across. I've already done that. I have a restore right here from earlier today, so not going to worry about it for me. But for you guys, obviously do that. If you have a bad flash, you want to be able to boot back into Recovery and do a restore. So we've got that figured out. Next thing you're going to do is go into Wipes and just swipe across to wipe out your current ROM, get a clean slate to work with, go back. Next go to installs, and then we gotta find downloads, and we'll pick the Omni ROM right here for flow. Make sure it's listed right here, it is. We'll add another zip, and then pick the PA gaps, that's what I use. Make sure it's listed, it is, and go ahead and swipe across. This is gonna go ahead and Flash OmniROM, which you can see, I, that's pretty slick actually. Yeah, that's really cool. So, um, little uh, graphics here on the install. It'll flash OmniROM, then it'll flash the PA apps, Google applications or gaps. ROM flashed really fast, you saw that. The, I think the, the PA gaps will also flash pretty quick. You can see a progress bar right down there. And as soon as they're done flashing, we're going to go ahead and reboot this thing and check it out. See what the boot animation is. I'm excited about that. As you guys know, I like the boot animations quite a bit. Fixing permissions, almost done. That's it. So, reboot system. Very fast install, especially considering the Nexus 7 has got that quad-core processor and Twerp utilizes it fully. And these files are not very big because it's very much a AOSP-based ROM. So 
uh, not very big packages or files to flash. Here we go. There it is. Omni-ROM. Boot animation. I digs it. Cool, very cool. Not seeing that myself. Um, I'm liking it a lot. Let's let this thing boot up. First boot up should take, I don't know, probably like four minutes. This thing's a pretty fast device, maybe even faster than that. So we'll let it boot and we'll come back to it once it boots up. Okay, here we go. We're booted up. That boot animation was a little longer than I expected. It probably about three minutes, so not too bad. We'll go ahead and start. We're going to skip through this really quick and get through our setup so we can show you guys the ROM. Here we go. There it is. This is the ROM. And let's see what, what actually, what launcher we've got here. I'm not really sure. It looks like a lot like the Google Experience launcher, but we'll see what it is. We'll get into it. Um, so here you go. These are your, your home screens as it looks right now. Very much, like I said, AOSP, almost size and mod looking. Um, and we'll go in here. So this is what we've got. Camera, documents, DSP manager, different icon. Kind of cool. I like that. Um, rest of this is very much Google applications. Yeah, very, very, very basic when it comes to the applications in here. Um, it does look like it says, so say, OK, Google. It does look like that works on voice activation, which is uh, pretty slick. I like that feature. Let's pull down our uh, quick toggles. So you have some volume stuff. Immersive off. I don't know. That's interesting. So I think that removes. Yeah, there you go. You can see it, it kind of adjusts those things. Your uh, little buttons down there, navigation buttons, quiet hours, disconnect, sleep, a whole bunch of different uh, stuff in here you guys can mess with there. Notifications over here on this side. So let's go ahead and get into settings. And let's go through this and look to see what we actually got here. So basic settings here. This is what's going to be interesting right here. Interface. All that's going to be fun. Let's see what we have down here. This looks pretty standard. Standard. Yeah, all this looks exactly the same for just uh, Android 4.4.2, which is KitKat. So we'll just go in here really quick just to show you that. You can see it is on 4.4.2. Omni-ROM right there. Nightly build, all that kind of stuff you can see in About Tablet. But let's go ahead and go back to the fun stuff right here, and we'll try to go through this. This is the, what makes these ROMs amazing. So customizations, right here we'll see what we have. Notification counts, quick pull downs, smart pull down, configuration, quick launch shortcut, long press kill, a whole bunch of fun uh, customizations right here. Let's see what else we have. Menus. Screenshots, oh, and screen record. Show screen record options on power menu. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So that's gonna be this menu right here. Now you can do screen record or screenshot right off your uh, power menu. That's nice, I like that. Um, so that's what you got there. Notification drawer, contextual notification, panel header. Quick swipe, some different information there. Active display, enable. Oy, this thing's full of fun little tweaks and uh, adjustments here, it looks like. Yeah, so I'm not even going to go through all that. It's going to be a lot in there, but active display looks like fun. We'll probably play with that if I get some more time here. And then you have more. Clear all buttons, memory indications, and some little fun stuff in there. And then lastly, on most of these ROMs, you can come in here and turn on developer options by tapping on your build number. And normally that activates, yep, two things. So it activates your developer options right here, which is where you would normally turn on USB debugging, which is checked right now. But it also enables this performance. And this is where you can get in here and you can adjust your min-max speeds on your CPU. So you can see there's already some things on here applied. And you can see what your cores are doing, what cores are on, what cores are off and some different things you can adjust right here your governors your schedulers all that kind of stuff can be adjusted in here once you've got that uh, turned on right there for performance um, so overall I mean this is very much like a very stock feel um, let me see if we can see what launcher we're actually on here so here's where you'd add widgets if you wanted to add widgets we'll look through those really quick 
pretty uh, standard. Ooh, this that looks pretty cool. I like this dash clock. I like I like that it has your Gmail, your weather, and your next alarm. That's nice. Push done, and there it is. You do have your wallpapers on here as well. Your wallpapers right there. You can set whatever wallpaper you want, and uh, pretty much it. So pretty nice little ROM, Omni ROM. Definitely has a lot of cool customizations in it. Very much AOSP based. Um, stock looking ROM. Obviously it's got this Google Experience Launcher in it, which is really nice as well. Um, hope you guys like this. Big props to OmniRAM developers. Definitely like it. Seems to run very nice and very smooth. Uh, hope you guys like this review of OmniRAM on the new Nexus 7, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.